when the dream crashed. I was born in Kiambu, a rural area 6 kilometers from Nairobi. I have completed high school in Nyandarwa. It was 30 kilometers away from the village and it was a boarding school. Afterwards, I trained as a secretary in Ruiru and came to Nairobi to look for work. I stayed with my brother in Nairobi and took care of my brother's small children. He did not have enough money to keep me. I decided to shift places. I moved into a small room which I shared with three other girls. They work as a bar mate, selling drink and sex at night after the bar has closed. The salary from the bar is not enough, therefore bar girls work for a second job. They introduced me to their job. Sex work is difficult especially at night when some clients are drunk. They can be dangerous and refuse to pay you. Others can leap or beat you and you are nowhere to report. I became pregnant while working as a barmaid and stopped working for a while. I did not plan for the pregnancy. I did not know the father. I decided to keep the baby. I learned that I was HIV positive when I visited antenatal care in Majengo. I did not expect to be HIV positive. I was very stressed and disappointed. One of the girls who had introduced me to the bar now helped me again. She introduced me to the Community Access Treatment Network, an organization that supports women like me. During my pregnancy, I had to take medication to prevent that my baby would also be infected. The organization helped me to get the medicines and take the treatment in Majengo until delivery. The baby is negative. Treatment in Majengo is not anonymous. The community know that place is for HIV positive people. People gossip and discriminate HIV positive women and their children. They say, don't pray with that child. I decided to change the clinic. Now I'm not using the drugs. Drugs have side effect on me. I had rashes that inch in my face. It was very uncomfortable and it was difficult to work. Everyone could see the black spot on my face. I'm still on the street in the evening doing my work as a commercial sex worker. There is no work even when women have an education like me. We cope with the situation for the money. We do not have anybody to depend on. If my work was legal, my family would still not support that. I'll be able to tell others how to do their work more safely.